Uh, it's great to speak with you today, George. I look forward to hearing your views on the topic of sustainable supply chain programs. Can you start by providing a brief background of yourself? Sure. Uh, I'm George Favaloro. I'm a managing director in PwC's Boston office. Um, I'm in the Sustainable Business Solutions Group, and we help clients think through their critical sustainability-related business issues and help them address risk issues, uh, creating value and efficiency and returns uh, through sustainability programs, and then uh, ultimately capitalizing on opportunities to innovate and grow. Thank you. My first question is, what is sustainable supply chain and why is it relevant for supply chain professionals? Yeah, so sustainable supply chain is um, uh, thinking about your total value chain with the goal of reducing any reputational risks or um, to improve your core performance or cost effectiveness by um, uh, uh, working on uh, your operational supply chain issues, risk, and supply chain transformation. So, um, and you want to think about those things in an integrated fashion so that you can reduce the risks, uh, find opportunities to improve the reliability of your suppliers, uh, and then help uh, make your suppliers uh, more cost effective and and uh, that can be shared with you and then uh, and you know reducing your overall costs as well. The thing that's often missed that sustainability brings to the table is um, you know thinking through non-traditional business risks and these can be highly disruptive and are a major factor in the world economy today and you know working through them explicitly, through a sustainable lens is, um, is, uh, is how you uncover the opportunities to improve reliability, reduce risk, uh, improve cost effectiveness. What's the best way to engage suppliers to reap the benefits from sustainable supply chain initiatives? Um, would you uh, use a carrot type of approach or stick or both? Um, sure. Um, so we, uh, you know, Sustainability is uh, potentially a very uh, productive, you, you know, working with your suppliers on sustainability is, is uh, potentially very productive in that um, it's an opportunity to collaborate and uh, work together um, to uh, eliminate sources of disruption, to improve their effectiveness, and at the same time, um, improve the uh, the level of, of uh, business effectiveness they can provide to you. And so we really encourage our clients to think through sustainable supply chain in a holistic fashion that has as its core this type of collaboration and problem solving. Um, to get started though, uh, to really engage the suppliers to get at the, the benefits, um, you need uh, some basic building blocks. And, you know, usually it starts with uh, a code of conduct and uh, a statement by um, – a statement saying, you know, the kinds of things that you want suppliers to do. And, uh, and that's sort of the, the initial um, structure that then the program starts to build upon. And, uh, and then you can move from there to thinking about – how your suppliers are operating from an environmental perspective, how your suppliers are operating uh, from a social or labor perspective, and how your suppliers um, are operating, uh, you know, uh, from a from a uh, from an economic perspective, and think through, you know, where are the potential risk areas, where are the things that could be disruptive to the business. Where are their uh, inefficiencies uh, that have to do with, you know, uh, waste or, um, uh, you know, inefficient processes, and then um, uh, and and bringing that into a program that uh, where you're collaborating on identifying where there are wastes or issues, where there are risks, and then uh, working to remediate those over time. And in terms of the carrot or stick. Um, we find that the best programs incorporate both so that 
uh, if you've got a code of conduct and you're working with your suppliers and helping assess where there are uh, issues or uh, that, that um, uh, need to be addressed, um, there needs to be some consequences to not addressing that, especially over time, and then there needs to be rewards for, um, for suppliers that do collaborate and that do work on their issues and, uh, and you know, and they, those uh, uh, consequences and rewards can simply be, uh, you know, increased business or uh, for, for the, for the uh, suppliers that are uh, more effective at dealing with their issues or potentially uh, decreased business uh, for suppliers that are not as effective. You know, with the overarching thought being, you know, suppliers that don't have the ability to address these these critical issues uh, are, are not suppliers you're going to want to uh, base your business on over time anyway. So it's, uh, it's, it's a good way to engage the conversation and get, get specific issues addressed. How can a sustainability lens allow companies to make strategic decisions on their supply chain? Um, so this is, this is an interesting one. Um, what we've seen are um, companies that have mapped and know which of their suppliers, uh, you know, have, uh, ha are at risk, have issues going on in their plants, um, you know, or uh, perhaps are, um, uh, you know, because of the way they operate, they'd be more vulnerable to a weather event. Let's say it's a typhoon or, let, let's, or they're more vulnerable to a labor action. Companies that have thought about that issue set and understand where their, which of their suppliers are uh, not as prepared or vulnerable to issues like that, they can react much quicker when, some, uh, when something happens. And, um, you know, they're, usually they're better at heading off a problem to begin with. And then um, if, if an issue comes up, they can move quickly to respond. And, um, uh, you know, um, so using a sustainability lens can help you, res you know, uh, understand where your vulnerabilities are and, and, and react uh, very quickly when, uh, when an issue uh, comes about. Great. And my, and my next question is, what are the best approaches to communicating and engaging with suppliers setting goals and incentives, defining metrics, and monitoring performance? So um, here again, we really encourage a collaborative approach to the maximum extent, extent possible. Um, you know, so the best approach to communicating and engaging is, you know, first really laying out how you define uh, sustainability and what your expectations are uh, for your suppliers, but then um, you know setting goals and uh, and defining metrics is key to anything in business, and it applies here as well. And what we often see is that um, suppliers are at different points of maturity, so that uh, there needs to be often steps along the way and uh, where some of your suppliers are going to be a little bit less mature in terms of the issues, the sustainability issues, some of your suppliers are going to be more mature. So you want to define levels and then move them along and have um, uh, an incentive structure and goals that work at multiple levels so that over the course of uh, a number of years, a uh, supplier can move from a level one to a level two and so on uh, and become more effective. Um, and with each step, you want metrics that, uh, you know, that make clear they're making progress. And, um, you know, one, one thing that we encourage is you want both metrics at a supplier level and, um, and those can be uh, metrics like, you know, have, have they, um, where do they stand in terms of, uh, an, uh, you know, their environmental audit? Um, where do they stand uh, in, ter in terms of um, their social performance? And, uh, and, you know, it's possible to scorecard them 
uh, and then, um, uh, you know, in subsequent years, uh, encourage them to make progress and have clear goals that they need to make progress against their own score, and then that's progressing them through um, your overall, uh, the, the overall steps that I described earlier. And then the other level where you want to have metrics is um, you want to keep track of, you know, how many of your suppliers uh, have you um, assessed and how many, do, how many suppliers do you know where they have vulnerabilities, how many of your suppliers, uh, you know, are, um, are at uh, a given level of maturity in terms of their sustainability performance, and, you know, are you improving that over time? Those kinds of metrics can help uh, as you source and help as you, um, as your, for example, your, uh, your product management organization works with their suppliers. It's very helpful for them to be able to know, you know, what, where is a given supplier in terms of its uh, sustainability performance, and should I feel confident in giving that supplier business? You know, can I feel confident growing my business with that supplier? So thank you, George, for sharing your views on the sustainable supply chain. Yeah, you're very welcome. Glad to do so and enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay.